Hey, welcome to Diode Press, I'm Graham. So this project started earlier in the year when my buddy AVE here on YouTube contacted me about making him a woodblock print. So at the time I had a lot of different projects going on, so it took a while to get those all out of the way to you know get started on it, but here we are. And he was also nice enough a few months ago to give me a shout out on his channel, and so I'm sure a lot of you came over at that time. So thanks for, you know, thanks to him for doing that, and I appreciate you all coming over. So he has some plans for the prints that I'm gonna be sending over to him. But I thought as I do some of these projects, it'd be nice to give one away. It's just a kind of a thank you for supporting the channel. So if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll have details about how you can win this giveaway. And if you want to help support the channel, you can check out the Diode Press shop where I have lots of prints and zines and stickers. Or you can check out the Patreon page where I have a lot of behind the scenes photos. Or you know, just subscribing to the channel is really awesome and I really appreciate that too. So let's jump right into this project. So when we were discussing this project, he mentioned something involving the oblique microchip, which you can see on his page, and something involving maybe hydraulics, and then he left it open from there. So I made up some sketches and came up with an idea for a robotic microchip. And then we decided it'd be nice to have it kind of emerging or standing from a pool of hydraulic fluid. Something that bothers me is when illustrations of mechanical things wouldn't possibly function in the real world. So I went through a few different studies to come up with a final design. I'm using Arnhem 1618 printmaking paper from Speedball. This is my first time using it and I really love it. I'm going to be doing a paper video soon. I'm using cherry plywood from McLean's printmaking supply for this project. It's really the nicest material I've come across for this type of work. The top of the block is 8 inch thick New England black cherry and it's been drying for 4 years and then it's mounted on a Baltic birch base. There are a number of ways to transfer an image, including tracing, wintergreen oil, or inkjet transfers. But for this one, I made a photocopy of my drawing, and I'm using nail polish remover to transfer the toner to my block. To transfer my carved line work onto the second block, I ink up the block and then tape a piece of paper onto this registration jig and run a print. Then I can put the new block into the jig and run it against the print, transferring the print in the exact same spot onto the new block. For less detailed prints, I'd probably just transfer as is and start carving. I decided to darken my line work so I don't mess it up. Again on this block, a few drops of India ink mixed with water creates a nice wash over the block. This will make it really easy to see what I've carved. Once 
the first block is inked, I'm using some paper to blot the ink off in a few strategic areas. This will make those areas print lighter, which will make sense when the final block's printed on top of this. It was a bit of a shortcut to avoid having to create a whole third block just for a few small areas that I want printed lighter. And here you can see the prototype registration system I'm using. And again, I'll have a whole video detailing this setup, but it allows very tight registration with multiple blocks. Mixing up the ink is always a challenge when you're trying to make a specific look, hydraulic fluid in this case. The whitish looking ink is actually a transparent base, so the lightest yellow will be even more transparent on the end. The last thing to do here is to tear off the excess strip that I use for registration and package up the prints. Normally I only send prints, but in this case, it's including the original blocks. So I'm making up a small shipping container so it gets there safely. You can find this dense foam at your local home center and it works great for this, plus it's only a few dollars for a sheet. And that's it. So as you saw, I sent him a small edition of the prints and then I kept a few as artist proofs for myself. And it's one of those artist proofs that I'll be giving away to one of you. So the giveaway details are really simple and I'll have them all down in the description box as well. So I'll leave the contest open for 30 days from the time I post this video. So thanks to AVE for letting me make these prints and thanks to all of you for watching the video. Make sure to check out the links in the description box for the contest information and the Diode Press shop and Patreon and all that good stuff. And I'll be back soon with a new one. Thanks.